John Travolta was accused of groping a masseur's bare buttocks, exposing himself, and making lewd suggestions to the 21-year-old man at a California hotel, according to a police report that has now been published on the website Radar Online. According to the police report, the John Doe Massieu accused Travolta of sexual battery, however the police officer who investigated the alleged incident says in his report that the details do not meet the elements of battery, or sexual battery. Travolta has denied similar claims in the past. The officer noted in his report that the unidentified masseur was not restrained unlawfully, and consented to the touching after Travolta told him he was attractive, after Travolta said he had been excited, after Travolta removed his towel, and while Travolta was naked along with Redacted, in the steam room, in the police report, the masseur alleged that the Pulp Fiction star groped his bare buttocks and indecently exposed himself during a private late-night deep tissue massage and citrus scrub at the Tony La Quinta Resort. 15, 2000. According to the documents, published by Radar Online, the masseur was summoned to the hotel at 1.30 a.m. Spa, he claimed, had been opened specifically for Travolta's use only. Travolta, 63, allegedly asked the masseur to concentrate on his buttocks. Travolta, the masseur alleged, kept removing the towel and exposing his buttocks as he received the massage. After that massage was complete, they allegedly went into another room where the masseur gave Travolta a citrus scrub. During the treatment, Travolta, a leading Scientologist, allegedly told the masseur that he was very attractive and that he had gotten him excited, the document said. The report states that once the scrub was complete, they moved to the steam room, where Travolta asked that he would accompany him, so he wouldn't have to sit alone. In May 2012, two John Doe masseurs filed separate $2 million civil lawsuits against Travolta alleging sexual harassment. The masseur claimed to have agreed, and claimed that Travolta removed his towel and was nude. Travolta then allegedly offered to demonstrate his own massage techniques on the masseur, to which the masseur agreed. As the man lay on his stomach, Travolta reached under his towel and began to rub his inner thigh, before rubbing him on his bare buttocks, as well as in the groove between the buttocks, the masseur claimed. You are now subscribed to the Daily Digest and Cheat Sheet. We will not share your email with anyone for any reason. According to the report, the masseur claimed he felt uncomfortable and left, but then Travolta followed, offering to soap up his back while he showered. The masseur said he declined. While the masseur was packing up his massage table in Travolta's room, he alleged that Travolta made lewd comments toward him and asked if he'd ever had his asshole licked by another man. Officer Mark Peters went to the hotel to speak with Travolta, who had already checked out by the time he arrived. The case was later closed, unfounded, and Peters advised the man to speak with a civil attorney. In May 2012, two John Doe masseurs filed separate $2 million civil lawsuits against Travolta alleging sexual harassment. The first, filed in U.S. District Court in Los Angeles, saw an unnamed male masseur accused the then 58-year-old Saturday Night Fever star of sexual assault, sexual battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress, claiming that he received several unwanted sexual advances from the actor during a private massage appointment at the Beverly Hills Hotel in 2012. In the suit, the masseur claimed that Travolta touched his penis during the massage session, masturbated in front of him, and then requested to give the masseur a hand job. When the masseur refused, according to the suit, defendant began screaming at plaintiff, telling plaintiff how selfish he was, that defendant got to where he is now due to sexual favors he had performed when he was in his welcome back, Cotter days, and that Hollywood is controlled by homosexual Jewish men who expect favors in return for sexual activity. Defendant then went on to say how he had done things in his past that would make most people throw up. The second unnamed male masseur, represented by the same attorney, Okoria Korosha, alleged that Travolta sexually harassed him during a private massage at an unnamed Atlanta hotel that same year. The John Doe claimed at the time to have substantial documentation and numerous witnesses regarding the substance of Travolta's actions. On May 9, 2012, Travolta's team provided proof that he wasn't in Los Angeles at the time of the alleged incident. The John Doe masseur then claimed that he had gotten the date wrong. Six days later, Akorosha filed a request with the court to dismiss the first John Doe's lawsuit in a document obtained by Gawker. Travolta's lawyer at the time, Marty Singer, who has also represented accused sexual predators Bill Cosby, Brian Singer, Brett Ratner, and Charlie Sheen, issued the following statement at the time, according to TMZ, this second, anonymous, claim is just as absurd and ridiculous as the first one. 
the attorney who filed the lawsuit on behalf of his second anonymous client, who does not want to disclose his name although he is required to do so, was notified that his first client's claims were totally false and fabricated, since our client was not in LA. When Anonymous, Doe, after we were able to establish that Anonymous, Doe, before he filed his specious lawsuit, before the attorney for the two anonymous plaintiffs filed the claim on behalf of the second person who refuses to disclose his identity although required to do so, it is obvious that he checked media reports that my client was in Atlanta working on a movie. However,